every time. Joe's, just don't invite me out to dinner and drinks. Get creative. Invite me out for an activity. Do something different. Do something that's going to be worth my time and effort. I am taking time out of my evening to meet with you, to go and enjoy your company, you know, to see how things work. If we're compatible, I'm making an effort. So I expect you to make an effort. So don't just assume that I'm going to be able to drop off my child somewhere because most likely I'm not. So unless you're offering to pay for the babysitter, I'm not going on that date. Also, and offer to pay for the babysitter. That's going to make me more receptive to want to go and spend my time with you. And another... Th Holy shit, lady, you got my blood pressure rolling through the roof out here. Who the hell do you think you are demanding, because you're a single mom, poor, poor, pitiful you, that he needs to pay for your babysitter to take you on a date? I cannot even believe. The only thing I can think of is, lady, you have got some big balls to even put that demand out there publicly. That child is not that man's responsibility. It is not his responsibility to pay for your babysitter. After all the bad boys that I dated, I thought, you know what? Let me just date the good guy. And that didn't work out because I felt like superior to him. It just didn't work out because I felt like I was the boss. And I did things to him that I wouldn't do to Katie. And it's unfortunate because he's the good guy. He didn't do anything to me. The problem was is that he didn't put me in my place when he should have, whenever that was supposed to happen. At some point in our relationship, he didn't put me in my place as the woman, as his woman. And he didn't show me that he can lead. So I felt like I was leading the entire household. All right. She said a lot, not just about herself, but about modern women in general, because if she's saying it, that means there's a lot of other women that are saying it too. Her way of thinking and way of moving is not something that she came up with. There's no such thing as original thought. And plus, since she's saying it, she's influencing younger women to actually go this route. Also, validating their feelings of treating a man the same way. And that didn't work out because I felt like superior to him. The reason she felt superior to him is because she was dealing with more masculine, more aggressive men, which means that she had to be in her masculine to even deal with them or address them or assert herself in those kind of relationships. These kind of women are not good or nice guys. See, a nice guy is more traditional, more polite, more, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, chivalrous. It took me a second to think of it because it's not a word used in modern day society. It just didn't work out because I felt like I was the boss and I did things to him that I wouldn't do to Katie. And She did things to him that she wouldn't do with the other guy. I, I have no idea what she's talking about with that, but, but I can think of some things that I have seen women do to like weaker men that it's just like I wouldn't tolerate it at all. Like I pretty much guarantee that she cheated on him. Unfortunate because he's the good guy. He didn't do anything to me. The problem was is that he didn't put me in my place when he should have whenever that was supposed to happen. At she spoke for all women. She basically just said men are supposed to put women in their place. Now, here's the thing with a good relationship. You don't have to put anybody in that place but she's saying men have to check modern day women like no you have to be prepared to check me when the time comes do you understand what she's saying now this to me is very problematic when is a man supposed to check a woman why would a man want to be with a woman that he has to check and when can he ever let down his god if a woman is in need of check you do you see what i'm saying and if he slips up one time does that validate you doing some messed up stuff to it's like we're the prize here yeah Not women you. are the prize mm -hmm. why is that i don't know you just have to like really make yourself worthy enough for me to talk to you and like spend my like give you my attention and if you're not sure. worthy enough then on to the next yeah. so you're the prize i don't know why um you know my mom always told me <laughs> to like go for a guy who just who really respects you and just okay next next question Sorry. <laughs> i i'm working on 
being more sensitive to not being um, too outspoken when my husband and I are in a group setting and talking over him, um, talking too much. I mean, especially because he is a Christian and he's wise and he has good things to say and he can't say them if I'm talking. <laughs> so I'm wondering about when, if ever, it's appropriate. If I've noticed when I've been in a group setting that I've talked over him and stuff, then of course I know that it's right to go to him and to apologize and ask for forgiveness and repent. I'm wondering if it's ever right to go to the other people who were in the group and apologize to them. Like say, Laura's had us over for dinner and I realized that in that setting of us four, I haven't had that quiet and submissive spirit. Is that ever right to address with Laura afterward, if that makes sense? Well, uh, in a situation like that, if you think you talked too much, th then I would go to my husband and, and ask him his thoughts and you may even need to ask his forgiveness. I have no ring on my hand. We did not get engaged with a ring. Tell them why you didn't get engaged with I know why, but tell them. So, Noble, I love you, friend. You're like a little brother. Stop telling these women that they're not going to have something. Let me explain why. According to the Red Peel community, I'm leftovers. I'm a 35-year-old divorced plus-size woman with two kids. According to the red pill, I am not supposed to have a relationship. I'm supposed to die alone, okay? That is so not the truth. Now, here is where I will agree with you, Noble. Ladies, what you see on social media is not real. Y'all understand that, right? Sierra and Russell Wilson are in the 1% income bracket. You, are, I agree with Noble. You're not hitting the private debts. You, you're not doing that. That's not regular life, okay? And whatever you see on social media, he bought me a Birkin. Girl, he a scammer. That's why he was able to buy you a Birkin, and it's probably a knockoff anyway. I got proposed to without a ring because, first, I'm a hairstylist. I think it is the dumbest waste of money for him to spend five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars on an engagement ring for me not to wear it because I'm a hairstylist. It's going to be filthy by the end of the day. Give me a regular gold band. But we have decided that we are going to build our custom home. We are going to take this wedding band money and this wedding money and go buy our land, pay that land off. That's what I want. So in a year, two years, three years, when we finish this house, whatever our timeline looks like, I'm going to have my wedding in my backyard. That's what I want because I'm realistic. We live in a life or in a society where inflation is real right now. Mortgage rates is high as crap. People do not make $250,000 a year. You're not going to find that type of man, ladies. You are going to miss out on an incredible man because he don't make enough money. That's, listen to what I'm saying. That man don't make $150,000. It's okay. The man who does make $150,000, $200,000, that's Instagram popular, social media popular, that's making all the money, yeah, he got a whole stable full of people that he can choose from. Most of them are full of ego. They are overly cocky. They don't care nothing about you because they have so many options. But find you a man who loves the ground you walk on. That's going to treat you like a queen. That is going to be concerned about your emotional health and your spiritual health. And even though he only makes $60,000, $70,000, guess what? He's going to give you the whole check because he loves you that much. He's willing to sacrifice everything he wants to make or needs to make sure that you have everything you need and want. You are Women are 100% the problem because they say outrageous. Like, I say outrageous shit, but it normally be jokes. Like, they say outrageous shit, I actually mean it. Like, they be dead ass shit. Shorty say Michael B. Jordan is cute, but doesn't have any edge. He just look, I don't know, responsible. He look like he know where his birth certificate at. That's why you bitches keep getting in relationships. You keep getting beat up. Your man keep asking you for money. You paying all the rent. He's sitting around playing a fucking video game, selling dime bags and shit. Because you bitches don't want a man who know where his birth certificate at. He can't know where his social security is too. He, 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 he supposed to lose his wallet all the time. Like what, what type of fucking man y'all want? Y'all want an irresponsible man who go to jail, beat on hoes, cheat on you, all that shit up. Huh? Beat each other?